What's up guys? Welcome to my video today and today I am going to be talking about anxiety. Living with anxiety or the truth about living with anxiety. Now anxiety is not an easy thing to live with. If you've heard persons talk about anxiety before, likely you would have seen the worry on their faces when they speak of this anxiety. Right? So today we're going to get into the topic of anxiety. We're going to see why is it such a worry or why is it such why is it so hard to live with? So first we need to define what is anxiety? Because we hear this every day about anxiety. Well, anxiety is a feeling of unease such as worry or fear that can be mild or severe. So everyone has anxiety from time to time, right? Everybody has anxiety from time to time. So even if you're going to do a test or some kind of exam or something, you will get some form of anxiety. Now the, now the problem is, the problem is when that worry about something does not turn off as soon as you're finishing with it so imagine you as a normal person right you have an exam to do and you're very worried right when you finish the exam basically you feel like there's a weight that is lifted off you right now persons with anxiety when they feel this um fear it's like every day it's like there is no ease to it it's like every day they get up with this fear this fear just follows them day in day out and sometimes it's about different kind of stuff but it's just the same uneasy feeling day in day out about some stuff that can even be seen as simple to you but to the person, it is very, very serious. Now, imagine in your head now you have this worry of the, the same worry that you'd have of the exam every single day. You have this kind of worry going on, going on, going on. Likely, it would, it would not make you feel good. It would make you feel very, very uneasy. It would make you feel very, very bad, right? Now, anxiety, it, it can affect you in many, many ways. It can, sadly, it can let you lose out on a lot of opportunities if you're not able to look past or get past anxiety, right? Speaking from personal experience, anxiety is not easy to deal with because Sometimes you may have some things planned for the next day and then it's like the mood that you wake up with is just like down, 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 straight down and you're trying everything to, you know, cheer up yourself and get in the right mood but it's just this anxious feeling is on you like something bad is going to happen or it's like you're just worrying over some past events and when those feelings come on you it doesn't come like a normal feeling it has this intense feeling of worrying and then you start to sweat and then there's your heart start to race and sometimes you even feel dizzy and this worrying feeling it is not something that goes away just like that it doesn't go away quickly it takes some time to actually be calm down if you ever get to calm down so it's not something easy so if you have a family member or if you ever dated somebody who says they have anxiety likely you would have seen the issues that come with somebody who has anxiety they worry over some things that would seem to the normal person to not be something to worry about <laughs> but to that person, it is something to 
worry about. It's it's not easy living with anxiety. Um, some days you get up, you just don't want to do this anymore. Like honestly, some days you just cannot bother with going uphill in this life anymore. Some days you just wish that it was just so easy and effortless like other persons who seem to not have the issue with anxiety. Or if they have anxiety, they know how to deal with it, right? Because every one of us will go down some form of anxiety from time to time. The problem is now when it becomes a disorder, right? When it becomes unnatural, or it doesn't just come and go, it starts to resonate with us in an unnatural way. So it becomes a disorder, right? So it's not, it's not orderly. It doesn't stay in its place. It becomes a disorder. That is when it really becomes an issue. And it is very, very difficult to live with. You may have certain opportunities that you are looking forward to going to. Anxiety will tell you all kind of things that may happen to you. All sort of bad things. People may judge you. People may say this about you. This may happen and that may happen. And then when you think about it, you get overwhelmed with, with this fear. And then you just don't go anywhere. You just stay at home. But the thing is, staying at home may feel good for the anxiety, but it is not good. Um, basically, you are petting this anxiety to become a giant. When you, when you stay by yourself, you're basically feeding the anxiety what it wants. Because it lives with you. you know? So when you stay by yourself, you actually feed it. Feed it what it wants. Feed it what it wants. When you actually get out of your comfort zone and go to different places, yes, the anxiety will be there, but when you learn to face the fears, um, when you try to face the fears, or when you learn to face the fears, that is when anxiety will learn to stay in its place. It's, it is not easy, it is very, very difficult. Some persons have had to go to therapy because it is a constant battle, a constant fight that you have with your own brain to say, this is nothing to be worried about. Why are you worrying? Why are you worrying? Like normal persons, they cannot understand this. I actually had the chance to you know, have a brief little talk with a psychiatrist and I told him about anxiety and he looked at me and he said that it makes no sense to tell others about your anxiety because they will never understand. And I was not surprised by what he said by the way because I already knew that persons they don't understand. When you tell them about anxiety, they look on, they look on it like it's just something minor that you can just easily overcome. They don't have the ability to see it through the lens that you see it through. They don't have the ability to see it through the horrifying lens that you are seeing the world through. So they will just tell you that, you know, it's nothing to worry about and so on and all of that. But honestly, it is not easy living with anxiety. It is, it is crippling. And every day, sometimes it's a new thing that you get up and you worry about. So if you overcome something, next day you worry about something else. And then sometimes you may even you may even worry about the same thing that you worry about the other day, and you thought you overcame, then it comes back on you again. So it's it's a constant battle to actually overcome it. And anxiety, it can be started in many ways um, sometimes some of us we are treated certain ways from we're small right we're we've been judged from we're very very young so growing up now it kind of stays with us to let us feel like everything that we're doing is wrong 
Like if we're doing something, we just feel this fear of being wrong all the time because it is what our brains are trained to think that you are always in the wrong and you are always somebody that um, persons will look at and will laugh at and will talk bad things about and all of that. So it's not easy to switch off. It's not an easy thing to deal with and it, it can get in the way of many things that you want to do. As I said before, it is really a constant fight, a constant battle to actually um, win it. It is really a constant battle to actually to actually stay yourself or feel like yourself when you have anxiety. It's just this out of body or out of um, place feeling that it brings. Sometimes your mind goes to very, very extremely dark, dark places. And sometimes you feel like, you know, you're not going to make it, <laughs> honestly. When I research anxiety, I see that a lot of persons, they, they off themselves, right? Because they cannot deal with this overwhelming feeling every single day. But with all that is said, all that is said about anxiety, as bad as it is, as, as hard as it is, um, I am imploring you, if you have a family member, a friend, or anybody who has anxiety, or even if you yourself have anxiety, I am imploring you to continue to put up the fight. The more you deal with it, the more your mind will find avenues, and you know, the more your mind will find territories in which you can actually deal with it. You'll begin to develop your own style in which you can actually deal with anxiety, even though it's not easy. But anxiety is very much a real, real thing. It's very much a real, real battle. And whenever we're facing it, we just shouldn't give up the fight because many of us, we have so much talent within ourselves. And anxiety is something that can keep us back from what we want to do or keep us back from our true potential so even though others may not know what is going on in our heads and they may say this and they may say that and all kind of thing once you know yourself and you know the, the horrifying battle that you are facing within yourself don't think about what they have to say because if you should take what is in your head and place it in theirs or take all the feeling if you could do that take all the f horrifying feelings that you are feeling and place it on them i guarantee you that they will see and they'll be able to understand exactly what you're going through so don't worry about persons who say certain things because they cannot understand the fact that you are fighting that battle or you are fighting this battle and you're still here still fighting that shows how very strong of a person that you are to be fighting such a hard battle within the mind that you have the mind that should be a home a peaceful place in your head that is currently disrupted by bad thoughts to say that you get up every day and you go to work or you get up every day and you you're able to push on um you want to live and you're working towards your goals you're very strong so you just don't give up the fight just continue continue to push on and you develop ways in which you can deal with this better and you will be able to reach your goals so this is my two cents about dealing with anxiety and i hope that i've been of help to you today if you like what i had to say leave a subscription to my channel all right.